We have been traveling all over Japan for the last two months and have been staying in some of the most luxurious capsule hotels with a budget of around $40. We will be staying in a capsule hotel in a boat, one that uses artificial intelligence to track your sleep, one that has its own private movie theater, and some other surprises. Oh, and along the way, we will show you how awesome Japan is. Let's go. Starting with this awesome capsule hotel that is embedded in the walls of the library. Welcome to Book and Bed Capsule Hotel in Tokyo. So check out our accommodations for the night. So Daniel's gonna be sleeping up here and I'm gonna be sleeping down here. This place is called Book and Bed and is one of the coolest capsule hotels here in Tokyo. So let us show you what $30 a night gets you here in Tokyo in one of these capsule hotels. For 45 bucks, you're in an awesome location, Shinjuku. There are lots of things to do around here. You can even see the infamous viral 3D cat and go into a Moide Yokocho street for some night activity. It definitely is a trendy option as an overnight stay because it was full when we stayed here. The capsule hotel itself will offer you endless manga for you to read, but unfortunately it was all in Japanese, so we just looked at the pretty illustrations. It has a cafe as well, so you can stay caffeinated to fight that jet lag. They'll also give you some fancy slippers as well. The design is super cool with the manga pages in the communal area. The bathroom is communal, but like all things in Japan, it's spotless. The capsule itself is pretty small, but it has everything you need. You can plug in your phone or laptop. Room comes with a pillow, um, a little comforter, and two sheets, and they actually give them to you for you to lay them out. The only negative, to be completely honest, the mattress was definitely on the thin side, and our backs knew it the next day. All right, guys, good morning. Oh my gosh, that was a night. Definitely hard on the body when you travel full-time like us. Sleep is extremely important, so we decided to get a sleep study in our next capsule hotel. Daniel says I supposedly mm. snore. This will prove that queens like myself don't snore. The second capsule hotel is very cool and futuristic, but also slightly creepy because they watch you sleep. We'll explain that in a bit. Hopefully the Google reviews are wrong about the high-pitched sound at night. But anyway. Welcome to Nine Hours Capsule Hotel, a hotel designed for the modern traveler. It's named for the ideal length of stay. One hour to shower, seven hours to sleep, and one hour to get dressed and ready. Not only that, the capsule actually has a motion detecting camera that records your sleep quality, and you get a full report after your stay. So when you check in, they give you a little QR code and the number of your pod and also that one correlates to your locker. So I'm going to use it now and see what they have for us in there. Ooh, a little goodie bag. The design of nine hours is minimalistic and futuristic. Each guest is provided with a locker to store their belongings. The shower facilities are spotless and equipped with all the essentials. By the way, men and women are separated by floors, so we had to separate that night. Let's get over here and see what the pod looks like. Now, the main event, the capsule itself. It was small, but big enough to fit Daniel, who's over six feet. The capsule was slightly more comfortable, but the mattress was definitely on the thin side. I'm sure you're wondering what that big bag was that they gave us in my, in my locker. It has a little bag, a little mesh bag. So they actually give you three towels, fantastic. So you can take a shower downstairs. Obviously, really cute slippers with the nine hour logos. So yeah, you get a toothbrush and some toothpaste. Oral hygiene guys, please. They give you a pair of pants and a top. We've been walking around Tokyo and we are exhausted, so it's time to go to bed. I don't know if you can hear it, but right now there's this weird sound coming out of the walls every few seconds. For it to be a sleeping lab, you would think it's a lot more quiet. Yeah, every few seconds that thing just hums. Catch you guys tomorrow morning. Peace. Spending a night at Nine Hours Capsule Hotel is more than just a place to sleep. It's an experience. It's efficient, affordable, and uniquely Japanese. So it's perfect for the traveler on the go. Oh, and turns out Daniel was right. I actually do snore. Yikes. We're definitely <laughs> gonna need some coffee after that night of sleep because it wasn't that, 
that good of a night. That was so rough. My back kind of hurts. That's <laughs> so why you do these. One so night. we're gonna go get some coffee at a very, very cool spot run by robots. See you in a bit. This cafe is not only run by robots, but they're piloted remotely by people with disabilities, allowing them to work and interact with customers in a way that breaks down physical barriers. If you're ever in Tokyo, it's a good way to enjoy a cup of iced coffee while supporting people with disabilities. Essentially how this coffee shop works is that the robots bring you your drinks. And these robots are actually powered by people at home who have disabilities that otherwise couldn't have a job. Do you plan to go shopping? Yes. Hmm. Yes, we, we. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go all over the place. We just got done talking to our avatar. Her name was Hida, um, and we just spent a couple minutes just talking with somebody. We didn't know it at the time, but that interaction with our avatar Hina would change her Japan plans for the better. She told us about her hometown on the island of Kyushu, and after seeing some pictures, we decided to check it out. And what better way to get there than on a ferry that has capsules in it where you can sleep? We never considered traveling by boat in Japan, but once we saw that they had little capsules inside the ferries, we jumped at the chance. For just $64, you get a place to sleep, eat, and entertain yourself. We went during Golden Week, which is pricier because it's vacation week for the locals in Japan. Welcome to our home for the night. I am so excited. It's like we're having a little slumber party. So come on in here. This is Daniel's pod. And then this is mine. Now the accommodation itself was quite simple, but super convenient. The ferry was inexpensive, but surprisingly luxurious and comfortable too, except for the guy snoring next to Daniel. On board, it felt like we were in a hotel with a grand lobby, an arcade center, and a mini souvenir shop. They have a bit of an arcade where you can come in and play if you get bored. Just when I was talking shit about this machine, <laughs> literally the next turn my boy won. I'll, I'll show it on the yeah. video right now. Yeah. 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 Yes! We're having so much fun. We're like roomies. <laughs> Besides the guy next to me snoring all night, I would say that this experience was great and we would definitely do it again. We're off to the kitchen of Japan for our next capsule experience. We love this next one because it was the cheapest and it was ninja and geisha themed. We traveled all the way to Osaka for our next luxury capsule hotel. Let's go. The Ninja and Geisha Capsa Hotel offers a unique blend of traditional Japanese culture and modern convenience. This is the most affordable capsule hotel we stayed at for around $32 per night. The look of the hotel's lobby and common area instantly grabbed our attention and went along with the hotel's traditional theme. The common area was the best part with a beautiful Japanese aesthetic, so we spent most of our evening there. The amenities of the hotel were very nice and super modern, and they even gave us our own pajamas and slippers, which obviously we put on. Look at this. So cute, right? I feel so Japanese. <laughs> Anyways, let me show you around the ladies' locker room. So first of all, we have this vanity set here. We have huge mirrors. Every sink comes with a hair dryer, and you know that's really important for us ladies, right? Not really sure why in the male section there's a lot of hair dryers, but I guess that's a thing here. When we first booked the hotel online, we were expecting the capsules to be ninja and geisha themed. So we were a little disappointed when they were pretty minimalistic with a sleek, dark aesthetic. But that's okay because the capsule was pretty spacious. And for $32, we were pretty happy. So if you're on a budget, then yes, definitely consider staying here for the night. This place was perfect for a quick night stay, super comfortable, and had a great vibe overall. I mean, you can't ask for much more. We really enjoyed this one. Yeah. For our last capsule hotel, we're gonna kind of splurge a little bit, and we get to go to my favorite city in the entire world, Kyoto. Let's go. So we finally, finally made it to our last capsule hotel. If a hotel and a capsule hotel had a baby, it's the millennials. We'll show you why. Out of all the capsule hotels that we stayed in, this is definitely the best. Yes, it comes at $70 a night, but it's actually pretty awesome. 
you get this awesome workspace. You can work here if you want. You have free Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi is actually really, really good. A bunch of amenities. And obviously you can have your projector in your own room. So this capsule hotel offers free beer from 5.30 to 6.30. Um, I haven't had a beer in two plus years. So, but when in Rome, I'll let it go. So let us show you what our capsules look like. Spoiler alert, they're the best ones we've ever had. This by far happens to be the coolest capsule hotel that we have stayed in here in Japan. And we've already stayed in four, so this one definitely lives up to the hype. The bed is actually controlled by an iPad touch, so you can actually make it go up or down. You can switch the lights on and off. How awesome is that? So we decided to book the projector capsules. What that means is that this, this isn't an ordinary nightshade. When you bring it down, there's an actual projector on, on the ceiling here and you can watch a movie right before you go to bed. Then when you check in, they give you a remote control and everything to hook up the projector and you can literally watch anything your heart desires, Marvel, Gilmore Girls, whatever. You got it. This is, this is the best ever. This is the biggest bed that we've had in the capsule hotel. The most comfortable for sure, and the most modern, and I cannot wait to try that out. Look how spacious this is. I mean, definitely not as cramped as those traditional capsule hotels, and I'm really excited to bring the bed all the way down. We're with each other 24 seven, so when I tried to hang out with Daniel, he wouldn't let me. So guys, after all the capsule hotels we've been to, this one was by far the best one. With that being said, Hope you guys love the video. Catch you guys on the next adventure. Peace. As always, thank you so much for watching.